Hello, I'm James, and today what we're going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how to go ahead and clean wild water, disinfect wild water when you're outdoors. Now, most people when they go outdoors, they bring their own water from the store, from home. Um, I do as well. I, bring, I always have my water bottle with me. But let's say you run out of water during an extended period of time outdoors, or something happens to your jug of water, it gets punctured, you drop it. Um, this is the 100% safe way of getting drinkable water from an outdoor source. So first thing we're going to go ahead and need is a stainless steel canteen. And uh, this is my Self-Reliance Outfitters stainless steel canteen. And uh, we need it stainless steel because it's going to go over fire. We're going to boil it. Okay, so it needs to be able to withstand fire. And uh, this can hold 32 ounces. So this is, this is what we're going to go ahead and use on this stream right here. Okay. Now, before you dip it in there, what you want to do is get a cotton bandana. And you're going to place it over and what this does is filter the large debris uh, say for example uh, dead bugs uh, twigs sediments any any of those larger things that can make you sick we're gonna go ahead and uh, filter out Oops. get a little wider angle okay and then from here we're gonna go ahead and dip it into the water and when you're dipping into water preferably it should have something with the current it's not necessary but I prefer something with the current. So let's go ahead and dip it in here. Okay, and that should be about full. So now, now that we have the water and we filtered as much as we could of the large nasty things, now we're going to go ahead and boil this. Uh, so right now we're just going to you know, cut the camera for a little bit while we gather some firewood and then we'll come back when we start the fire. Okay, let's go ahead and get this fire started. Burn for a little bit. Then I'll be placing the canteen right over this grill I managed to save from work. And we're going to let it go ahead and let it boil for about five minutes. We're going to place this top on it so it can start boiling a lot faster. Okay, so as you can tell, it's about to start singeing. It's about to start boiling. Okay, now we're just going to leave it for about another minute. Now, in case you're in a higher elevation or you really don't trust the water, you could leave it for another, you know, an extra minute. But you don't really want to overdo it because keep in mind that boiling water eventually leads to evaporation. So you don't want to lose your resource. So just we're just going to leave it for about another minute. It's already been about 10 minutes that it's been on the fire. So just um, let it for about another minute and then from there it should be good to go. Okay, now you can see that it's all already on a roll, rolling boil. So this is good enough. This is, it's already hot enough. So what we're going to do is remove it, and then we're just going to let it cool off. So let's just get it off of the fire. Oh, oh. snaps. I don't think it's going to work like that. There you go, like that. Make it balanced in the middle. I know, but it's... Maybe if I get a hold on to this. 
this side. There you go. Okay, so there we go. Okay, now we already went ahead and removed it from the fire. Um, it did take a little longer, about 15 minutes. That's because we'd made a very small fire. It's extremely hot outside right now, so the fire is just boiling us even worse. So we just made a small fire, and it took a, about 15 minutes. And now that it was boiling, as you saw, we went ahead and took it off, and we're just going to let it cool off for the moment because you don't want to drink that water while it's hot or burn your hands with the canteen. So we'll come back in about five minutes. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes. Now the container is still quite hot. Uh, we are in the desert and this is summer, so it's extremely hot outside. Um, but what we're gonna go ahead and do, start pouring it into this cup so it starts you know, airing out, so it starts cooling off. Another side note is, you know, when you, went ahead, when you go ahead and boil the water, some people don't like the taste. It tends to uh, taste a little flat because it's lost oxygen. Uh, so while you're pouring it from one container to the other, it, um, it starts improving the taste since it starts picking up some air. Um, another, another way is if you get a, close the container and shake it, once it has a little bit of air in there, it'll also improve the taste. But in the meantime, let's just start pouring it into this cup. I don't know if the camera can pick up. There's still a little bit of steam on there. But, okay, so we're just pouring it back and forth. One, to improve the taste, and two, so it can start cooling off a bit. So just let it cool for a couple minutes more. You don't want to be drinking hot water on a hot day. And then from there, we'll just go ahead and uh, we'll drink it up. Okay, so we let the water cool off for about 20 minutes. Now, once again, it's really hot outside, so it's not cooling off. Um, but it's it's already cool enough, you know, where it's not gonna burn my gonna burn me or be uncomfortable. So just uh, here we go. I'm gonna drink this. Now, keep in mind that uh, you know, if you drink unclean water you know you don't want to be outdoors and you know you you get dehydrated because you either didn't drink water or you do drink water that's not safe and then you know the water pathogens give you botulism or or just simple something simple as you know diarrhea can kill you uh, think of a uh, hurricane Katrina how many people died you know they were surrounded by water but none of it was they didn't know how to clean it so uh, just uh, I think everyone should at least have a metal canteen for these kinds of situations and uh, yeah just know how to work with the environment around you. Well, so, cheers. Okay, and just to put it into perspective, about 15 million people die yearly worldwide from drinking unclean water. So just uh, don't fear the outdoors. You know, just a closing thought. Don't fear the outdoors, just learn to work with it. Okay, just understand the environment and uh, you'll have a good time. Okay, another, another, this is unrelated to the water, to the clean water, but just a little bit, it doesn't hurt a little extra information here, is this, these are the ashes that we used when we were boiling the water. Now, my hand, if you recall at the beginning of the video, it touched the stream of water that was questionable. Um, so I really don't want to touch my mouth or anything like that where I could get bacteria from this hand. Uh, so we're going to use the ashes to just wipe it. Now, ashes do contain uh, antibacterial properties, so it's a little hot. You know, just put it on your hand for a little bit, and that'll help out. Now, I'm, obviously, when I get home, I'm going to shower and, you know, wash my hands just to play it safe, but this helps out as well. I don't think a lot of people understand that ashes, you know, because of the heat and all, it does protect. So, just this, and with my cotton bandana just wipe it off and we're good to go so i'll see you guys in another video thank you for watching